Welcome to Video Tour that shows how to deploy HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint. The deployment process is performed identically on Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010 and on SharePoint Foundation 2010. The demonstration will be performed at Middle SharePoint Farm of five servers. It contains cluster with two web front end servers, one application, one search, and one database server. First of all, you'll need to download Distributive HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint from our site and extract it to any folder on any server where SharePoint is installed. In our case, we use Application Server. Before starting product installation, you must make sure that you have full administrator rights in Microsoft SharePoint Server and on each server in which the product will be installed. Run executable file setup.exe. In the new window, click Next. Installation Wizard will check the readiness of the product to be installed. The test is successful. Click Next. Before continuing the installation, get acquainted with the license agreement. Accept it and click Next. In front of us is the page for selecting the site collection, at which the function of statistics collection have to be activated. Choose the appropriate site collections and click Next. Wizard will start the installation of HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint. Wait until Wizard finishes installing the product on the SharePoint farm. Click Next. Product installation is completed. We can now proceed to the product initial setting. Open Central Administration. For authorization, use the account with the rights of the farm administrator and follow menu item Monitoring. At Page Monitoring, you'll see the Settings section of HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint. Go to page HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint settings. As an initial minimum configuration of the product, you need to create two databases. The first one for the storage of statistical data collected by HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint. The second serves as a queue, accumulating statistics in the intermediate state before saving them in the statistical database. To create a statistical database, follow link Create or Change Database. Here we should specify database server and database name. Click Create. The database for storing statistical information is created. Now let's create the queue database. Follow link Create or Change Queue. Specify database server and database name. The name of the queue database must differ from the name of the statistical information database. Click Create. The queue database has also been successfully created. The product is configured. Let's look at the product dashboard. In drop down menu Site Actions, choose Item Site Settings. A new section, HairPoint Analytics for SharePoint, with references to the pages of product control and processing, appeared. This is a reference to access the reports on the current site. This is a reference to access the reports on the site collection. In front of you is a dashboard, which contains the main parameters showing the use of the site collection. Now the page is empty. But if we visit it after 24 hours, we'll see reports containing statistical data. You can see the examples of reports on the demo site at www.demo2010.harepoint.com. Thank you for your interest in our product.